Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In the studio today, we've got a guitar that kind of flies under the radar. Not a lot of people know about this model and it absolutely blew me away. So let's check it out. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope you're having a great day today. Well, this is the guitar. Now, this is not normally the type of guitar I would pick up and play, but I'm super glad I did because this thing is absolutely amazing. Now, as you guys know, I love to share interesting and unique guitars with you guys. You know, instruments that maybe aren't from the Fender or Gibson camp, but something a little bit more unknown. Last week, we looked at the Schecter Fastback 2, a really cool T-style guitar. This week, we've got something even more unique. This is the Schecter Ultra 3. So what makes this guitar such a big surprise? Well, for me, it was the pickup layout, the controls, and the sheer versatility of this guitar. There's so many tones you can get out of it. It's absolutely astonishing. All right, so let's take a quick look at the controls because there's quite a lot here. Now, very simply, we've got a volume and a tone, so that part is really simple. Then we've got a five-way selector on this chicken head knob. Very cool, which means we can get combinations like just the bridge by itself, these two humbuckers, just a middle humbucker, these two humbuckers, and the neck. So it's kind of like strat controls, but with humbuckers, which is really, really cool, but we're just scratching the surface. Now, in case you missed it, we've also got these controls right here, and these are what makes this guitar so powerful and so versatile. So each one of these switches corresponds to a pickup. So this is your neck pickup, this is your middle pickup, and your bridge pickup, and these are coil splits. So right now the guitar is in its humbucker mode and we've got, like I said, five-way switch. So already some interesting combinations. When we split each coil, we've got essentially a strat. So we've got three individual splits with the five-way switch, which means you can get position two and position four and get some like legitimately good sounding quack. So this guitar already is so versatile in that it's got a single coil mode and a humbucker mode. But again, we're just kind of scratching the surface. If we go to position four with these two pickups on, well, we can have them either in humbucker mode, both in single mode or, you know, any combination. If you want your neck humbucker with just a single coil in the middle, go for it. If you want reversed, if you want, you know, a neck single coil with the middle humbucker, awesome. Same thing goes for position two. So there's so many different tonal possibilities. So I wanted to get that out of the way right at the beginning because really that's what makes this guitar so surprising. As I started using it, I was blown away with the number of tones you could get. And you know, if you're the type of musician that you know plays in a band that needs to cover a lot of genres or you like to record in the studio or something like that, this guitar just gives you an insane amount of tones. All right, so let's quickly hit up some of the main highlights of this guitar. I'm not going to be able to cover everything because there's so much here, but of course, I'll link to it in the video description below. You can check out all the specs there. After that, we'll do our tones, but let's jump in and check out the guitar. Now, first things first, this entire guitar from top to bottom is designed to be very, very vintage. And of course, that applies to the hardware. So up on the headstock, we've got a set of Grover Deluxe tuning machines. Looks very vintage, and we've got those tinted ivory buttons. So complements the look of the guitar very nicely. We've got a Graftech nut right here. We've got a Pau Ferro fingerboard with block inlays and jumbo frets. Um, we've got a three piece mahogany neck and it is a glue in neck with a really nice contour here. So you, you know, access to those upper frets is really nice. The body is mahogany. And of course we've gone over some of the controls but these are your coil splits here. Volume, tone, five way rotary switch. We've got three Schecter Diamond Series humbuckers. Now these are listed as their Alnico humbuckers with gold foil pickups or whatever. Um, I'm not sure if they're actually voice different than the actual you know, Schecter Diamond Series, but I've got to say they look absolutely amazing. Even close up and zoomed in, like the greats look really beautiful. Then we've got a roller saddle bridge 
and this is a tone pro so it's got a little allen key to keep it from falling off when you're changing strings so that's nice changing strings on bigsby equipped guitars is tricky at the best of times so nice to have the tone pros and of course the bigsby so that's kind of like the broad strokes of the guitar now i should also mention the entire finish on this guitar is open pour which is very different for you know a mahogany equipped guitar so i'll take some pictures so you guys know what i'm talking about now i've played lots of open pour finishes but usually on swamp ash where the grain kind of moves up and down swirls but generally it's a linear pattern here as you guys can see on the mahogany it's just kind of like pores that soak up the finish so definitely gives it you know a very vintage vibe and a unique look all right you guys let's get on to the fun stuff and check out some tones now there's a lot to get through so let's jump in and check them out all right so let's start in the neck this is the full humbucker So let's try that in position four. So we've got these two humbuckers, kind of like a Strat position four, but on steroids. So it really has that quack, which I was so surprised about. You know, I just didn't really expect it. Now, if we split both of those humbuckers and get, you know, more of a Strat sound. Back to the humbuckers. Back to the neck pickup. So already just messing around with a couple pickups, man, we got a lot of options. Now, one of my favorite tones on this guitar from the humbucker side is in position two. So these two humbuckers on at the same time. Now, obviously you couldn't do that on a normal guitar. So I'm gonna go to position two, take the tone all the way down and add some overdrive. Sounds like this. Now, if we just go to like the bridge pickup, go to position two, So it just does something totally unlike on any of the other pickup combinations. So just one of those combos I kind of stumbled upon and, you know, just sounds great. Whether you, you know, dial the tone back or not. And then the bridge by itself. So it's a really cool tone. So that is the neck pickup in its split mode. And if I wasn't watching myself play this guitar, I could swear that was a Strat. So really cool and great single coil tones. And I already showed you guys uh, the position four. Really cool sound. And of course, then single coils in the middle compared to the neck. Great tone. And in the bridge, if we add some overdrive, like totally strat. So great tones all around. All right, so now let's put the Ultra 3 into a mix. I'm going to play over a backing track, just a short one minute solo, but a totally different style than anything I've been playing so far. Let's check that out.
So as you guys could hear, this guitar really handled any style I could throw at it. And that's why it was so surprising. It's like having two guitars in one. A Strat and a Les Paul kind of smushed together with a bunch of extra tones in this really cool kind of vintage package. So super surprising. I thought all the tones sounded good. You could get like a jangly jazz master tone if you went into the back. You could get kind of P90 type tones if you, you know, use this humbucker with this single coil. You know, all sorts of different combinations. And I thought they all sounded really good and usable. Now in terms of fit and finish and overall construction, well, I don't have too much to say because this guitar is like pretty much every other Schecter I've played. Made in South Korea to very, very tight tolerances. I'll just show you guys a few pictures of fretwork because I'm always happy to show off Schecter fretwork. Beautiful fret ends, polished up frets, even up high. You know, they don't, you know, I sort of call these like the forgotten frets because some manufacturers don't dress the frets up there. These are beautiful all the way up and down. So great playing experience. I guess I should just quickly mention, uh, I don't have the camera quite to show it, but it balances absolutely beautiful. No headstock dive. It's pretty light, probably about seven and a half pounds. Feels very light, maybe seven pounds. But yeah, balance is really great. So you can just, you know, let your fingers do the work. You don't have to support the neck or, or hold the body here or anything. So very nicely balanced, plays wonderfully, and it's built excellently. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you enjoy demos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can check out all my information, including t-shirt store, tab store, all the gear I use, links to all that stuff in the video description below. Have yourself a great day.